Welcome. In front of me is a Realme Note 50, and today I will show you how you can copy your contacts from the SIM card to the device. Now to get started, the first thing you'll want to do is open up your standalone contacts application, I like this one right over here. So this will be contacts by Google, as you can see. And right now it's pulling contacts from my Google account, which you can see right here with the T. If I tap on it, it actually gives me the uh, actual parameters of this uh, account. Now there's two additional options that you can see. We have the SIM card and we have also the device. Now I did say we're going to be importing it, so I'm going to ignore the SIM card visible right here. And we can now select fix and manage. And then we're going to select this one. Ah, there we go. So it's the manage SIM. So this is basically the importing option. And as you can see, it automatically selects all the accounts uh, or all the contacts that it can. There are some that are deselected and grayed out. And if you try to enable them, as you can see, it tells you that contact already exists. So the device is just stopping you from importing duplicated contacts. Now you can also deselect contacts that you might not want. So that's one thing. Another one is you can see where it is going to be saving these contacts to. So for me, it's trying to save it to the Google account. Now this is the only Google account I have signed in on the device, but if I had multiple, I could select one of those from the drop down list right here. Now the other option is a device. So I can import these contacts to the device instead of the Google account, as importing it to the Google account obviously will sync these imported contacts to any other device that has the same Google account signed in. Now by changing it to the device, there is no contacts on the device whatsoever. So it automatically selects all of them as previously the Poczta Głosowa wasn't actually, uh, was already imported to the Google account, but it doesn't exist on the device. So I can now import it. In any case, from here, once everything is selected, we can now tap right here on the three dots. Now you might actually just see import option, but because the text is kind of bigger, it might just be hiding it, that's why. Not necessarily sure. If you see three dots, click on those and select import. If you see import, just select directly import. It will give you however many contacts have been imported. And now when we go back, you can tap on the drop down right here. I'm going to select device and you can see all the contacts that have imported right in here. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.